So the philosophy of the new Duke is very much carrying on the story from the first one. The first Duke was such a strong character that we felt that we wanted to, if you like, enhance some of the features. So in a way we're maturing it. The car is also super sporty, um, so we're pulling out some of the elements um, and enhancing them even stronger. And one of the other things as well is we've added a real premium touch to the car. I think the original Duke was such a strong statement. Duke and design are sort of two words that always come together. So with the new Duke, yes, it's all about design. The statement's very strong, it stands out from the crowd, and it's very sporty and agile and athletic as well. We've got 19-inch wheels, so it's really sporty. It's got a great stance on the road. We've got a floating roof, which allows for personalization. It's really sporty as well, so it's got a very coupe-like profile. And I think one of the key features is our identifier, the V-Motion grille. So this is the front aspect of the car. Uh, it really sets up the car for a very powerful um, image. And also it gives a, a tough, robust look to the car, which Nissan is very famous for. We make very robust products. So we're really infusing the style and the robust build of the car. So with the new Duke's design uh, on the interior, We've really watched the way people use their devices. Um, and with so much technology, what we've tried to do is simplify it. So we've encompassed most of it in the touch screen that you see, the infotainment system. So it's very easy to use. Uh, all the command controls are there. And it's allowed us to, if you like, detail the rest of the cabin to a much higher extent. So the quality of the finishes and materials is super high. But it's allowed us to clear away a lot of the clutter and the noise to a very simple user interface. So the Nissan in-car connect services, it encompasses connectivity, even navigation, drive controls. Um, altogether, it's very easy to use on the infotainment system, so the touch screen, giving the, uh, the customer a much more relaxing and comfortable journey. One of the options is the Bose Personal Plus system. It's a really great audio system. It gives the customer a very immersive experience. So the N-Design, it really builds on the heritage of Duke's personalisation. So N-Design sits very much at the top of, of the range. Um, so you have a product like Duke, it's already very individual, but with the N-Design packages, the customer can then really make it their own. So if Duke is design, um, and you buy a Duke based on a design decision, uh, you want individuality, you're probably someone who enjoys not following the mainstream. What end design the packs give you is even higher level of uh, personalization. So you can add your own twist to the car. So you're going to make a very interesting car, even more interesting, and actually very premium. The materials that we're using are very high end. So the two tone interiors is something you would expect from a completely different class of car. The, the strange thing is with Duke is it's polarizing. So when you're involved in a, with a project like that, you're very aware that the rest of the industry is wondering what you're doing. And I felt the team, as we went through the design process, it was kind of always inbuilt that we could never repeat anything that we see from another manufacturer or things that are familiar to us. Again, it had to be a fresh take on what Duke could be. Uh, and Duke, by its meaning, is to avoid or to, to dodge out of the way. Uh, and I feel the car, again, is duking itself, if you like. It's coming again with something new or avoiding the norm.